Don't be upset. I've got good news. I'm not upset. You're pregnant. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey TG gang. We're starting off with my fit because I'm about to leave. Um, so I'm just wearing like a top underneath and then this jumpsuit. And then I'm wearing my Nike Dunks over there. Okay, so I'm wearing my night tanks and the office is a bit of a mess, but oh, guys, it just goes to show that we've been working super hard. So I slept late last night, had to edit and went to the gym this morning and spent most of my day editing. So now I'm off to an appointment and I'm going with Tina. So I'm going to drive to her house and then we are going to drive together. Obviously, she's going to drive. I'm not driving because I hate one thing about me. I hate driving. I'm in my passenger princess era right now. I think that's her calling me, so let me just double check. Sure, you can go ahead. Oh, right, okay. So, um, am I gonna be in this? Cause I should have maybe done something. Oh, no, no, don't worry, okay. I've, just got, I've just got the, I've got the, um, the thing that you explained. I'm like, every day I'm like this, yeah. but the minute I know about something. Oh, no, don't like, worry. Oh, no, 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 no. I just have the thing you're explaining on there. Oh, right. Yeah. I love this thing. I, I found it randomly, but I love it. It gives yeah. me the full, like, I can explain everything. Okay. Um, so basically your skin can, it can be attached, I mean, your hair can be attached in the follicle at three different places, right? Okay. And the wavelengths on laser machines speak to how deep it goes. Oh gosh, this feels a bit like... No, it feels not there, don't worry. Oh, great. <laughs> Um, so what we're trying to do when we do laser is get to the root. You want to kill the root and the only way you do that is by traveling down the hair. Which okay. is why you mustn't have waxed and tweezed and that kind of thing. Because it needs the hair as the transportation to Okay, alright. So what happens is we shave the hair the day before. Okay. So it's just about visible on the top of the skin. Mm -hmm. uh, the laser travels down and goes to wherever that hair is attached and it kills the root so it like zaps oh, it okay, okay. and what happens is that follicle will not grow hair again so each time you come in you come in once a month over a period different areas take different lengths of time so your underarms might be quicker than a bikini than a legs mm -hmm. etc but wherever the hair is attached that follicle is attacked however our hair grows in cycles and sheds in cycles so it grows and then it loosens in the follicle and then it's on its way out and it falls out so because our hair is our transporter to the root in the phases where it's loosened and where it's falling out it can't be attacked and that's why you come in once a month so each month you're targeting new hairs, new hair. whichever okay. ones are attached to the root and that's pretty much in a nutshell how laser works um, the other thing is the surface of the skin gets warm if because laser is really hot. It's a it's a hot beam that's going down your hair to get to the root. And what we do for pain-free laser is the tip of the laser. I'll show it to you when we're in there. The, the like, just the sole. Yes. Okay. So of course you will shave the day before. Okay. Yeah. Do you recommend this for shaving? I've seen many guys use this. So this just gets me to, uh, so I can trim it to the perfect length mm -hmm. at the time that you need to laser. You would be shaving the day before so that it's just out. I wouldn't recommend shaving your whole body with this. Mm -hmm. It will take forever. <laughs> um, but also... <laughs> okay, so... There we go. So you can basically okay. sleep in that one hour. <laughs> I have got people that sleep and then I just move with them to wherever I need to <laughs> Hopefully they I don't think. start snoring. Oh, I snore. Okay, that's okay. I'm, I'm not judging. I won't judge. <laughs> Alright, 
uh, we put an ultrasound gel and the ultrasound gel is literally just uh, reflect the light nicely in the area and it cools the skin I'm sure you can feel that in I'm winter sure it's, it's, it's not nice in winter it's not so nice in winter but I have a heater that's like okay <laughs> Okay, and that's... Ah, yeah. You see, it's yeah. getting cold and cold. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, this is pretty much how it's going to feel. Is it working? Mm -hmm. Oh. It feels like you're just rolling something on me. That's how it will feel. Very painful. So what? Now take your. I was like, is it on? Yeah, because I couldn't see, see you that. You can't see much through the through the glass. Yeah. Okay. It feels, it feels like you're rolling feels an like ice nothing, cream. Right? Really? Like mm -hmm. you're rolling an ice cream. So now look at. You're gonna look at the skin there. You can feel it. So the only thing is, after you're done with your treatment. You have to put sunscreen. Mm -hmm. So if you're going into the sun, yeah, on all the areas that you've done laser for the next few days. So the reason we do that is it exfoliates your skin. So it takes off like a fine layer yeah. okay. when it's lasering, and that's why you can't do it with Accutane because Accutane sheds your skin, skin like yeah. properly sheds your skin, mm -hmm. and um, because of that, it will guys, I just took these pillows off the bed and brought them downstairs. I'm putting this in the wash. I mean, I washed this just like two weeks ago or something. And already it smells like this again. These pillows, okay, so these are duck feathers. Duck feathers over time tend to smell like a dead bird, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. These things smell like a dead bird and my whole room is starting to smell like a dead bird. And the advice is that you wash them on a day where it's hot and you can get them to dry quickly. I never get that much sun for these to like lay there. So the choice will either be to take them to the dry cleaners or give them away to someone who can take care of them. Because right now, I just can't stand the smell. I am so, my nose is so sensitive when it comes to smells, guys. And I can't stand the smell of these pillows. So... This is going to the washing machine so the smell can come off and like my um, duvet that I put on hasn't even been a week but I'm taking it off tomorrow. I just cannot do this anymore. I can't. It's just... Ugh. So I'm going to add a scoop of this in here after I add my washing powder. If you guys didn't know, this actually removes odor in clothes so it's really good for like even like your gym stuff and then i like to go in with my comfort state off just to like make it smell good because you don't want to just add a smell onto something that still has odor it's not going to smell nice so remove the odor and then add something that smells nice so i'm going to add this after my soap hey guys so i am off to an event and this is what i am wearing um this full outfit the top the skirt is from sheen i really love how this like i don't know when you move it moves um i'm wearing a red lippy you guys love this red lippy and my last vlogs i decided to wear red lips wearing tina's favorite earrings if we all watch tina's vlogs you know and then this is the fragrance that i'm wearing um my office is a bit of a mess guys please do not be bothered but i'll clean that up tomorrow yeah this is the fragrance i'm wearing heels are from superbless and then i'm carrying that nude bag over there so i'm gonna be leaving in the next 10 minutes i just need to put this on charge for a little bit and then i'll be out actually i'm on call with the girls girls say hi hi huh yeah, because I needed to speak. So now you can speak after. Okay. All right. Ciao, guys. Your heart. Keep it in your pocket for some keeping. Don't ever let me know. Hi. Welcome to the ITG gang. How are you? <laughs> Sometimes you fall. Yeah, sometimes you fall.
cargo Be careful with my heart, oh Say I'm not sensitive, but I can sense if it's right for me. Don't let your head get in the way. Can't be defined by your mistakes. You know you're trying, you try really hard. But sometimes you fall. Oh, hey, Smith. Period. Period. <laughs> Yes, girl. I love this fit. How long did it take you to put this together, Snee? <laughs> when I finished doing my makeup. <laughs> Half past six. So 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, wow. That's stunning. Love it. Another day, another messy office. It's me trying on half my closet. Look at everything everywhere. The realities of a slash wardrobe slash closet. I'm thinking... I'll wear this dress to the clicks event, playground, dun dun. No, I'm just wearing like a little kitten heel because ah, I don't know the situation. I don't know if there's going to be a lot of walking. I don't know if there's going to be a lot of standing. But honey, we look cute. <laughs> just bloated because I ate now. But I'm hoping it will go down before I leave. Those ab lines. <laughs> they are coming. They are coming. All I'm saying is that if you were sleeping while I was in the gym, Nilele. <laughs> See you in January. January, us for starting the year looking right. I don't know about you. I'm starting the year looking right. I'm glad now, eh? Like, you need to get your ass out of that bed. And do something. Don't be like, oh, Maratani looks nice. Now nah, you must look nice. You should also look nice. I can't be the only one that looks like this. Girl, we need to flourish together. Girls and boys, we need to flourish together. Actually, I like this dress. You know what's so weird is that I bought this dress and I had never worn it. I tried it on in the shop and I had given it to Tina. And she's like, I don't like it. She gave it back. And I'm like, I nearly made the biggest mistake of my life because... I don't know if I should wear this heel. This one is, if I wear the orange one, it's giving, oh, it's giving too sexy for a clicks event, you know. I don't know, maybe I'll wear, I'll wear this to like, with the heel to like a summer party in December. Yeah, for today, I'll just keep it, um, I'll keep it how can I describe this yeah I wanted to call it uh, I'm forgetting the, 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 the name but anyway I look cute I can't stop thinking myself I look nice yeah that's all that matters hey guys I called Tina and she refused for me to wear those kitten heels so um, I'm wearing these orange heels that's how I look and if you can hear something in my phone making a noise, that's Tina. We're on the call together. Um, so I just threw him there. And the hair looks cute. Inches. Okay. So I'm going to go downstairs. Um, I was about to wear sneakers. It got to that point. I was about to wear sneakers. I was just like, I can't tell man. But yeah. Because my hamstrings are a bit sore from 
squatting yesterday i did so many different types of squats so obviously that ass can't go nowhere yeah I don't even know if I showed you guys my face yesterday but the makeup I did yesterday looked really nice as well and then today when I'm showing you my face again it's pretty much the same plain um, look I do all the time but twins are twinning today um, yeah this is how we look waiting for Tina I'm gonna go stand I think I need some water and then actually I should just grab a sparkling water now Sometimes I fly Good morning. Um, I cleaned my office yesterday, and this is how it looks. I have these boxes that I need to pack, and the other two are for a campaign. Those two over there are for a campaign. I am gifting those to Tina, so I just want to go get a gift box and pack them in a gift box so they look, you know, much better. And then, yeah, I unbox that. I'm gonna pack those one day only boxes now that i'm done with the campaign and i'm just going to the mall to go look for the gift box so i am wearing this top that i had gotten from h&m i think it was last year it's no longer available and the jeans are from h&m someone did ask me if my jeans were ripped at the back guys it was a stitching malfunction and now i think i need to go get it fixed because it's a stitch malfunction like it's not ripped it's just looks like it's open because someone missed a stitch and i didn't notice and unfortunately i wore them in cape town to cop the tag couldn't see the back so it was too late to change them then i'm wearing this cover up that i got from sheen yeah that's from sheen so far i've gotten so many um gifts i have a gift from mason collection i will open this and share with you guys she sent me two of these um i'm so excited to see what's inside and then Garnier sent me a drop and as you know the other day we were at the versace event and they gifted us all the um, Versace Dylan Purple Perfume Perfume and this is a hundred ml. So I'm adding this to my perfume haul because I was already going through as you can see I put these four here because these were next in me um, researching the notes because I want to be able to put the notes on screen. I don't want to just be like talk and you guys don't get anything out of it. So I'm gonna add this to my perfume haul super excited um now the reason i was in here was to get my bag and to look for lip balm because my lips feel so dry so i know i've got dct somewhere i think it's in my gym bag let me have a look where are you where are you oh it's not here must be in the other bag I carried the other day. Yes. This stuff is heaven. Well, the normal one, the normal one and um, this one. I also like this one. What a long day it's been, guys. What a long day. What I know for a fact is that low shedding is about to happen anytime soon. My battery's already flashing and that it's low. Um, 
so i'm gonna go upstairs i'm gonna charge this tomorrow i didn't get to vlog today because i was actually meant to film a campaign today i tried to rush i tried to do everything on time because i was ready by 12. um yeah but unfortunately um it did take a little bit of time to get ready and then um by the time she was ready it was extremely late because i had lost lights in my apartment and i really wanted this reel to look a certain way so i'm gonna shoot it tomorrow morning after gym so um i think she's done with her part because her apartment is so much brighter throughout the day whereas with mine the lighting I have a standard amount of time that I can film so the best time to film in my apartment is between like 10 in the morning 9 10 in the morning yeah from 9 10 till about 2 in the afternoon if I try to shoot anything after that like it's really does not look like the quality I want it to look like so there's um, a tip if you are filming always take into consideration your lighting the setup and everything so yeah this face beat is going to waste i'm gonna wash it off just now um and i need to take off my pony one thing about having your relaxed hair is that you shouldn't tie your hair up a lot you guys probably see me with my hair tied but um when i vlog i try to look put together but like most of the time I take it off and I leave it off. I don't know why it feels like I'm getting sick, but that is the situation. So I'm gonna go upstairs and chill in bed and I've downloaded stuff. The only sad thing is that while I have load shedding, I have to watch my neighbors who have electricity because their inverters are working and I don't know when I'm getting my new battery. All I've heard is that it might be sometime next year because there is a shortage. And I'm like, oh, why me? Why me? Because other people have like electricity Wi-Fi running throughout low shedding. And which is the reason why I actually got this apartment. For that reason, so that I'm not behind with work and I'm not affected by low shedding. But right now, it seems like low shedding was like, I found you. Like, it literally found me. So yeah, let me go to this guy. I'll talk to you later. Um... I also need to kind of figure out how much of vlogging I've done in this vlog because vlogmas is soon and I have to be ready and on point so yeah chat later guys will you look at this guys I am like so excited um obviously I went to buy like and I completely forgot my camera and the reason why I forgot my camera is because I was using the memory card in here to edit the content that I need to send to clients and I did but I've been getting so much stuff like I'm so excited I got this from Verve like it's for their 250th birthday but it's just it's the fact that Verve recognized me and said She's one of the people you want to send our drop to. So I was really, really excited. And then they also gave me this linen towel, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't know who this designer is. And it comes with its own bag where I'll place it in there. Like just being recognized by such brands is so nice. Um, even the fact that I was invited by Versace to come to a um, Versace launch. It's so like the little girl in me is excited. So even though when I get to these places, I'm like, oh, you know, a lot of the people that I know are also invited. At the same time, in my heart, I'm just like so grateful that I can be one of those people in a room. And then last week, I realized that I forgot to mention where I got some of the stuff from in my vlog. So my coffee table, I got from Home Adore Design. I paid, the price they quoted me was $2,850. That's how much I paid. I will check my measurements that I sent them to you guys because um, it's really not that big, but it's big enough for my space. And then also my office table, I've noticed a lot of comments. Um, 
of this table is from I know how you pronounce it but I'll type it I will put it here and I will actually add the link to the um, office table in this vlog and I'll update it in my last vlog just for anyone that um, sort of like watches that vlog after but wow this this drop made me really happy being invited to the Versace event made me really happy like I'm not saying I've never been happy about any of the other places I've been invited to it's just so exciting to have an invitation for brands that for the longest time when you were growing up you presumed as lax or you know um more of high-end you know stuff that you never saw yourself like guys I've, I've never even been invited to the verve polo so it's like when they said they want to send me something I'm like are you sure i even had to double check the email i'm like are you sure verve was i mean like even if it's just one bottle i still really appreciate this one bottle and it's so nice and this little fridge actually keeps a bottle warm um like cooled for like about two hours so i'm gonna transfer this bottle into the fridge um i think we'll have this on christmas this is such a nice bottle to open up on christmas day since me and tina are hosting but yeah the house is a bit of a mess right now because i've been all over the place it's literally that time of the year deadlines 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 and i have so many campaigns and you know i was on the phone with my mom now and she's like oh you know don't like um sound um like don't make it sound like you're complaining you just need to literally every time you are overwhelmed just say thank you god thank you that i'm in this position that i would never have imagined myself to be in and appreciate every moment she's like even if you're struggling like just Sorry, this cut out while I was walking so she was like basically like remember that someone else out there is praying to be in the position <laughs> Yo, this light so my lights my light from Amazon broke on my birthday I don't know how but it did so I need to order another one because the clip doesn't hold really well so yeah so my mom was like yeah just be very grateful and I was like you know what yeah I'm, I'm super grateful for everything i'm super grateful for the support you guys give me because a lot of the stuff i won't even act like just too much like oh i'm good at what i do you can be good at what you do but without the support it means nothing because engagement is everything engagement rate speaks volumes to brands and one thing i really appreciate is that tg gang really comes through for me and everything like like people like sometimes when brands come back to me they'll be like oh the amount of sales we've had or the amount of this we've had and if like if i pretended as if oh i'm just good at selling stuff like guys anyone is good at selling stuff out there and it's not every time we're easily influenced we could choose to not be influenced but you guys literally take my recommendations so seriously so i appreciate that and that's why i decided to invest in some lights today because um there is a lot of work coming in that does require me to film myself so and also i wanted to invest in a bit of lights for my reels um because this house actually only has light for a limited amount of time and i realized i cannot be working based on those hours i can fit in so much in my day you know the people that hammer the fact that you have 24 hours like i realized 24 hours is a long time to just say oh i only have three hours to shoot today girl you have three hours of natural lighting and then you have about 15 hours of working time that you can use with lights and make that stuff look good so i went and i got these lights i haven't tried them let me show you so these are the lights that i got um they were on special 
um guys one thing about me before i buy anything i do my research so before you just like go ahead and buy these just <laughs> also do your research so it's video led lights okay they do come with a remote and i got them now because they were on special for black friday they come with two stands by the time this video goes up the black friday sale is finished but i think i got about three or four thousand rand off on these lights but i'll link them down below if anyone is interested i wouldn't advise you to invest in lights now if like such expensive lights now if you're starting on your career it's really not that worth it <laughs> um the only reason i've gone ahead and invested is because i probably like film like um three campaigns a week or in a month i do about i would say eight to like minimum eight campaigns that's where it's been um i'm really hoping it stays like that no i'm lying eight is a lot i probably do like four to five campaigns a month which is a lot so if it's that much i can't always hire people sometimes because it does become costly depending on the sort of quality you want so i just got the lights and yeah we'll play around and see how that goes um and i got my first amazon order today but not the other one let me show you guys So I actually ordered this, wow, on like the 2nd of November. It's actually taken really long. This is the longest an Amazon order has ever taken. So these are oil and vinegar um, things. And they come with all the names, like stickers you need. So like if you want to change the stickers on the bottle, you can like remove and change them. There's like so many um from vinegar to your oils so basically this is how they look they glass and they have the stand and they have these uh, gorgeous pores i will show you guys how they look once i've like taken them out and decanted like something in them i i mainly got them for olive oil and vinegar so guys you can buy normal ones i literally went and got these off amazon because of the love of aesthetics but you do not need to go buy these that are like expensive if you go to your panda i literally saw so many of these you know the panda that i spoke about in my last vlog yeah so i'm waiting on my oh my makeup is like orange i don't know why so i'm waiting on my tripod now that's the last thing i'm waiting for from amazon i ordered a different tripod because the one that i've had for four years broke it does not hold anymore and i am afraid for my cameras one thing about cameras they're expensive so i decided i would get a new tripod guys this house is messy please do not mind but anyway let's carry on so i decided i would get a new tripod and the tripod that i wanted i couldn't find it in sa and also the one that i found in sa that was close to that wasn't as perfect and the difference with me buying it on amazon it was actually 400 rand cheaper for me to buy it on amazon and it's the exact tripod that i wanted so obviously i can get overhead shots and all of that and stuff like that for my content so i was like since i'm buying i need a new tripod anyway let me just buy that particular one on amazon so it says i went on to track it when i was worried that why has this one arrived and the other one hasn't and it says it will arrive by tomorrow evening so crossing fingers it does actually i think it's the guy that called me no it can't be the guy that called me earlier and i told that that wasn't my address no 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 it's not so yeah because anyway this one arrived here there's no it doesn't make sense that that one went to our old house so anyway i need to clean up this house because it's a mess chile like i ordered chickens 360 in the morning and i just opened and got what i needed and i left it there because i needed to be in the office all day editing the deadlines are deadlining me like they are having me i'm so tired <laughs> no rephrase 
I am so grateful. I am so grateful for the opportunity to be able to make money during this time so that my bank balance is fruitful in the times where I do not have work because I am aware that January and February is coming which is a very difficult season for content creators so right now I am grateful God I am super grateful and I appreciate every opportunity that you're sending my way and I ask that you do the same for others and every single person watching this vlog right now bless them Lord bless them amen see my mom told me change my thoughts to positive be grateful whenever i feel like complaining be grateful so whenever you feel like complaining be grateful amen amen okay so i've decided to do lights instead because the light in here is so inconsistent so the other day when black knitters were here they highly suggested i get some additional led lights so i haven't set up the whole three point system i'm gonna do that like tomorrow but i would like to test out i'm gonna switch on one and then you guys will finally get the updated makeup routine so let's switch that on and see how it looks oh my gosh it's so dark here you can't even see me on Friday and it's Tuesday and my visa is ready, ready, yay! So the reason why I didn't tell you guys I came to apply for the visa was because I thought it was going to take eight weeks and now my visa is ready far earlier than I imagined. Like it took three days or two days. Two days to be approved. So happy. Um, actually, I don't even know if it's been approved because I haven't opened it. So let me open it when I get home. Alex, you guys, no! <laughs> okay, so I got it! I got it! Let me call my cousin and surprise her. I already sent it uh, uh, to my mom and sister. So let me see how she's gonna react. Um, one second, let me give her a call. Let's see how she's gonna react. Okay. 
Um, so how long should I be there? Two cafe, weeks. Have some tea. Um, what else? Tell the boys, oh, auntie's you coming. Come, what are you gonna come for? Huh? Woo, guys, the ghetto. Get gas, they said. Anyway, I ran out of gas as I was cooking. Like, literally, stuff is in the pan. It hasn't even cooked. That's supposed to be my dinner. It's like literally stir fry. And I'm upstairs closing the curtains. And then I just hear like the stir fry slowly. Like, you know, when you can tell that like some, the stove has gone off, like things are not doing what they're supposed to. And yo, yeah, yeah, guys, like I'm trying to buy gas and it's not working. Like the service for Unipin is not working. So I don't have gas because their service is offline. What's new in South Africa? What is new? Everything is always oh, like you are. Are you joking? So now I even have to now make sure I generate my pin on time, basically, because just having them lie around like this is useless because now i can't buy gas because it's offline how okay i'm giving this one more try and then after that i'm just ordering out good morning guys i just decided i will close off this vlog i forgot to close it off yesterday um basically by the time this has gone live it's basically the first of december day one of vlogmas and i can't believe i'm actually doing this so today is going to be another full day of vlogmas so i want to end this one so i can start vlogging a new vlog um, I'm up early and I am not going to gym right now. I have a video to edit that needs to go up. It's also sponsored. So I'm excited for that. And in between Vlogmas, we have two sponsored videos. Two internationally sponsored videos that I'm excited for. Oh, they're paying so well and everything. I'd appreciate if you guys supported those when they go up. You'll see them because they will say includes paid partnership. Partnership. I haven't filmed them yet. So I do have a brief. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I slept so late. Filming. Now I'm up early to edit this content. So let's do this. Um, happy festive season, I guess. It started. Oh my god. We are about to have an amazing December. So I hope you enjoy the content. Much love.